Uh, this is just to show as of today, kind of where we're at in uh, what we follow closely to manage risk, which is the stock to flow model. Uh, stock to flow looks at the amount of existing supply of something divided by its annual production rate. Uh, this is used for a lot of scarce resources like gold or real estate, diamonds, platinum, and often it add, offers a pretty useful way to measure the price of something and where it's going to go in the market. What's unique about Bitcoin in particular is that its new supply is cut in half every roughly four years, every 210,000 blocks. And we tend to see that the first 16 months or first third of the cycle after the cut in supply is when you see these exponential moves up in price. Uh, and as you, this kind of rainbow color looks at how long until the next cut in supply. And it tends to be when you're moving into the orange, yellow, uh, and yellow phases that there's these logarithmic moves. If you look at the scale, this is a logarithmic scale. So every uh, horizontal line is a 10x move up. And you know it's kind of eerily similar to the last few cycles, but we're following, again, a move up in the price that puts us today somewhere around 50,000, 51,000. Um, and if it, the charts hold, uh, has much more to go. This is, and I guess what is important to talk about here is, you know, when you're looking at a hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin or anything above that, that's really, you know, you're talking in the trillions of dollars of Bitcoin. It just hit over a trillion in market cap the other day, which again adds for institutions an ability for them to add it to their balance sheet, add it as an investment thing. It's not some kind of tiny niche thing once it's, you know, over a trillion dollars. And, um, at two prime, we expect this to, to continue on at least for uh, the next, next foreseeable future in this cycle.